Begging can be the difference between whether a person eats that day or not, but it can also be their access to drugs or alcohol. Should begging be banned? No, I don't think so. No. <laughs> I'm not quite sure if it should be allowed like on the streets because it doesn't really set a very positive image. Yes, they got to ban it and it's a, a very good thing to ban it. It's good to be honest with people. Don't beg. Ask and you knock and shit will open. The doors will open for you. Everybody will help you. And it's not a poor country. You see a lot of like um, homeless people around here and you don't really know who's homeless and who just can't be bothered to work. But um, yeah, if we can prevent it then that's good. But yeah. It, it, it depends on circumstances of people really, like if you're not able to get money or food or anything any other way, then like what are you going to do? Not everyone is fortunate in this society and in the world and I mean, you know, it's about just giving back to the ones that don't have as much as we do and um, I don't think it should be banned. I know the homeless people are very sad but they are begging too much. If that was me, if I ever got into that situation, I would want someone to do that for me, so I would. Yeah, no, I don't think it should be banned. No, no. Plenty of jobs down here, but they don't want to pick the jobs. You know why? You get a dole, you get allowance, you get everything. They give you just enough money for food and accommodation, and if you're a smoker, smokes. They, they don't give you no life. And that's why people beg to get extra money. But they can gamble, they can go horses and do everything. Where are they getting all that money? They're, but they are begging, still begging. It's a lot better than people stealing. Take the dole budgets, catch them all together and join the army. See how the army doing it? Hard life, hard labor, you get paid for it, do it. Like, I can understand if you like can't work at all, if that's like your only thing you got. But if you can work, I guess like give it a try, you know? They have to help themselves before anyone else can help them. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, they need to stop their habits. Even if it's like flipping patties or something, it's better than nothing, you know. You're more likely to get a better wage flipping patties than you are on the streets, not knowing if you might go without a meal or something like that. I see most people that are homeless with mental illness. They usually use and abuse children that use, use and abuse themselves with drugs and it's really sad and half of them are on the street because of the parents. It starts from the home and, you know, so, yeah. I think people are going to do it no matter what. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if people are desperate, they're going to beg. Begging can become a way of life for many people and despite services being available to them, many just get lost in the system. Banning begging may aesthetically improve the city, but we're not actually dealing with the real problem which is homelessness and poverty. This has been Jackie O'Leary reporting for Undercurrent.